welcome to History in Brief. Today we're going to take a look at Lincoln and emancipation. Abraham Lincoln personally hated slavery and pledged to prevent it from spreading into the Western territories. While he promised this, he still believed that the Constitution did not allow the federal government to prohibit slavery where it already existed. After being elected the 16th president, Lincoln saw more and more slaves escaping and seeking refuge with the Union armies. Lincoln recognized that emancipation would weaken the rebel army and strengthen the Union army, which would go on to enlist black soldiers. Lincoln declared emancipation of Southern slaves as a wartime necessity to save the Union. In July of 1862, President Abraham Lincoln read a draft of his Emancipation Proclamation to his cabinet. After reading this, Secretary of State William Seward advised that Abraham Lincoln should wait until a clear Union victory so he would not sound desperate. On September 17, 1862, with the retreat of Confederate General Robert E. Lee at the Battle of Antietam, Lincoln was able to pronounce the Emancipation Proclamation on September 22, 1862. The proclamation stated that on January 1, 1863, all slaves held in rebel territory would become free. By April of 1864, the U.S. Senate passed a proposed constitutional amendment banning slavery nationally. The House of Representatives struggled to pass the amendment due to the number of Democrats who refused to support it. Lincoln pushed representatives to consider the amendment, speaking to some of them one-on-one. -on -one. It worked. Finally, on January 31, 1865, the House passed the proposed amendment with a vote of 119 to 56, just over the two-thirds needed to ratify. From there, the amendment went on to the state legislatures for ratification. Unfortunately, Lincoln was not able to see its final ratification. Lincoln was assassinated on April 15, 1865, and the 13th Amendment wasn't ratified in the necessary threshold of the states until December 6, 1865. For more information on emancipation and the life and times of Abraham Lincoln, visit us at lincolncollection.org or email us at lincoln at acpl.info.